So you want to renovate your house, but money. I mean, there's only so many dollars in the world in the bank account, and it feels like a renovation is going to take it all. Yes, and sometimes it does. <laughs> we've been there. We know what it's like. Yes. Renovations are pricey, and so through the years, we've figured out some ways to make it more cost-effective. Yes, so today we are talking about five of our favorite hacks to save money on renovation, and I'm talking like tens of thousands of dollars in the whole scheme of things. So we're very excited to share. Okay, so like we said, we're sharing our five ways to save money during renovation. And I thought they were common. And then when I started to talk to people, I learned that a lot of people weren't familiar with some of these ways. Right. So I think a lot of them I learned from you because you're you're always that person that's like, why not? Why why can't we do that? Like yes. for me, a lot of times I get a little like afraid to be like, hey, let's do this if it's not like the standard plan, but you don't care. You're like, no, I'm not afraid. I've done things and I've made a lot of mistakes, but I've learned along the way. And so I feel like you should dream and you should let yourself go. And there's usually a creative way to get it done. Yep. So we're gonna start with the first way is use existing materials. So an example of this would be mom's fireplace. So it was, you did have to take all the stone off. Yeah, well, the firebox was not working. The gas was not hooked up and the firebox was broken and there was water pouring in. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually had to remove all the stone and put a new firebox, but we actually repurposed the Austin stone, putting it back onto the wall. But that is not the look that you, just the Austin, just the Austin stone. So one no. might say if their creative juices weren't flowing, they would think, I've got to get all new stone, but. But I just used the Austin stone and then I found that it, of course it was very dirty and there was a, a lot of remnants of mortar and things. And yeah. so we actually took white mortar and white sand and created a beautiful German schmear over the top of the entire stone. Yeah. And it looked so European and complete. I mean, you would never guess that it was the same stone, same fireplace, same. I mean, it was a whole different look. And I think it's really cool. It was the same material. So I think it's time to interject because I'm getting a lot of questions. Why mom hasn't done her stone backsplash? So can you answer that? Because they're, they're on the edge of their seats. Okay. So we have a lot of projects going at one time right now. And our subcontractors are extremely busy and so that's been part of the issue well, is it first started it was supply issue so yes. she couldn't get this done and then it was subcontractors yes and then while we were waiting for these things we were like on to the next project we took on other projects yeah so and that just got put on the back burner but we are revisiting and we're going there, y'all. We're going to do it, I promise. So what timeline, realistically, do you feel like you can tell the world? I mean, don't hold her to it because we we have a really big project. Like, a, it's neither of our houses. It's a giant renovation a that's coming next year. We've been working on the architect plans for a while. And so that really was what took over. And I'm very excited to share. But that, what, with that in mind... It'll probably be the first of the year. It, we won't be under renovation during Christmas and holidays because that's just a little bit too much to take on. Yeah. But so I'd say a few months. Yeah. Just give me a few more months. Yeah. And if you're questioning what the heck are y'all talking about, we did an entire video rounding up stone backsplash inspiration mm -hmm. and mom's design plans for her backsplash because that was a renovation mistake. There's a lot to talk about that. But... I was shocked how many people asked. They're just waiting. People are, well, I'm waiting, y'all. I'm excited to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. In, this is the second thing to save in renovation is actually using existing cabinet boxes. So these, these kind of go together, but they're also independent because I'm shocked how many people don't know how you can use existing cabinet boxes and still make it look completely updated you just take the doors off we did this in my house and we took the doors off 
had new doors made, but we also built cabinet boxes on top of the existing it, cabinet boxes. Yeah, and that made it look completely high-end, completely updated, and like we had a brand new kitchen. That brings us to today's sponsor, who is Stash. They are sponsoring this segment of today's video, and I'm very excited to share them with you. So let me pull up the app real quick. The Stash app is an app that simplifies investing and can make it easy and affordable to build wealth and achieve your financial goals. This could lead to even better renovation projects, guys. And if you have the same goals as me, that that's your goal with stash you don't need a lot of money to start investing they offer two simple plans that can help you invest and save like a pro even if you're a complete novice like myself i have never done this so it's nice having an app that kind of leads the way a feature on the app that i'm enjoying is learning center where you can learn about investing and stay up to date on financial news some even have videos if you're a visual learner and you're on youtube so I know you'll like that. Stash is sharing a bonus with all of our viewers today. Download the Stash app and invest as little as $5 and you get $25 towards your investment. All you need to do is go to the link in description or I've also left the link in a pinned comment and you can get started today. So thanks Stash for sponsoring this segment of the video. And now on to more ways to save in your renovation. And I bet that saved me at this point in this market, $10,000. Yes. But there were sections of the kitchen that needed to be revamped. So your yeah. coffee bar, for example, you completely took out what was there and yeah. installed that coffee bar. Yeah. So we did a mixture of addition yeah. of new cabinets with the existing cabinets. Yeah. It was mostly existing, but we, I, that one little element just made it look completely fresh. So, well, and let me add this too. What really made the kitchen look like a brand new kitchen was that on the left side, we took the uppers off completely and we put floating shelves. So between the floating shelves, the new doors, and then the coffee bar and the glass cabinets on the top, I mean, we used basically the existing kitchen and made it look completely new. So yes. you just got to think outside the box. And can I say that one of the big ways to save money or to not make mistakes, I should say, where it's going to cost you money in the future is to get a rendering. That was yeah. really helpful for our kitchen design that yeah. we had a full rendering. So we knew it was going to work. Well, let me interject. If you're like, how the heck do you make a re rendering? How the heck do you des design a kitchen, make a plan? Mom and I made a design course. I'm going to link it down below and that wasn't for a sale that pitch. she wasn't trying to but, sell you but i thought gosh there's a lot to say about that and if that like made if if you were like oh my gosh that would be really be helpful i'd love to do that we can help you do that link is in description but let's keep moving on moving on the cabinet boxes were also used in my bathrooms so that was actually i wasn't sure we were going to be able to do that because the they didn't look as high quality, to be honest, as the kitchen, but they ended up being okay. Once we took the cap, the countertops off, you could see. And anyways, that worked as well. And we did use the existing base, even for the linen cabinet in the bathroom, yes. which was, that looked like a gas station changing table. And we were still able to, to make it a beautiful linen cabinet. Yeah. So my entire house, every single bathroom and the kitchen, was all existing cabinet boxes. But I wanna talk about when you're not gonna be able to do that because my old house, my Skyline project, which I'll link in the cards, that's a no-go. That was not going to work. And your kitchen was particle board and yeah. the water had done a lot of damage. And so it was just moldy particle board. And so we had to pull it out. Yeah, and all of my cabinet boxes were real wood, no water damage. They just had really ugly doors and they needed like a fresh yeah freshening yeah. yeah so paint but we painted them and it all looked new and you never would have known that i didn't get well custom cabinetry i was i've got to say that too people always ask where did i get the doors i did not buy the doors from a manufacturer i actually had a local cabinet guy so someone who builds custom cabinets build these for us and that was nice because they installed them. But I do know that 
Angela Rose Home did an entire kitchen makeover. Ikea. Well, so she didn't use Ikea. A lot of people use Ikea, but there's a company called NI. It's like new doors or new cabinets, or I'll pop it up on the screen. I have never personally used them, but I know that they manufacture doors that you can get to use. So it's not the, I, the brand that partners with or uses cabinet boxes from Ikea. It's a, that you can use any cabinet boxes oh, and okay. do it. But just keep in mind, I have never used them. So if you have, you know, you want to research that and go down that that path, just re look at um, Angela Rose Home. She has done the whole, that whole thing, that her kitchen, her old kitchen. And she has a whole highlight on her Instagram about those doors. And so, and I think they even paint them. So wow, that's, like I said, never experienced that. I did custom because I wanted the other stuff done. So the vent hood and the, um, yeah. and they had some specialty, things. some specialty, but it still saved a lot of thousands. Money. Mm -hmm. And so third way that we save money is probably my favorite. And the best way yeah. is with paint. And we always say paint is a miracle worker. Yeah. You can use it on anything to transform a space. Yeah. Walls, cabinets, furniture, home exterior, home exterior, home interior. I mean, tile, all things. We have literally anything in your house that you can think of. We've spray painted vintage frames. We've done, I mean, there's- We painted my bed, my headboard, fabric. My, my fabric. Yeah, so we literally, I mean, she's got a new bed now, but to make it stretch <laughs> until then, we literally refresh, because I couldn't get the stains out of the fabric, so we just painted that that bed, that which I, I still can't believe that we did. No, so if you're thinking, what can I paint? Anything. Everything. Yeah. So a couple of our projects examples, definitely exteriors. I feel like those were the most impactful. I know a lot of people don't, aren't fans of painted brick. For me, I had my first house was a uh, coral. So I don't care what you think about. It was not cute coral. It wasn't cute. It wasn't <laughs> going to work. And so we did paint that and I have a whole video on that. That wasn't my best video that we've ever produced but you can see the example the next we did the exterior of this house that's a much higher quality video if you're looking for a tutorial on how to paint a house our most famous uh project probably of all time is painting tile floor and we've done that twice two bathrooms in your upstairs one without a stencil one with a stencil but we have even painted tile on the wall in the shower so it's a different product than the tile on the floor or the paint on the tile floors this is a very fumy paint a very serious seriously fumy paint but it worked and it held up great and we did it in both my house and our flip house which that was pink tile or was it blue it was pink and then it was painted blue and then we fixed it well white white yes yeah and so a couple things though if you're scared to diy paint projects you can hire a professional painter to do these things if your husband does not like painted brick i also have a suggestion what? for my particular situation my husband is not a fan of painted brick and so what i'm going to do is paint this trim a really bold dark color to help that red just kind of make a more of a warm and cozy feel. Well, your red's not bad. So you can definitely yeah. highlight and really modify your home exterior with just painting the trim. But in general, paint is, I mean, painted that piece right behind us. It wasn't that, it, I mean, it looked like it was I, fine, I had but, no hope for that. Yeah, I painted that piece there, I painted the piece, I made it look like real wood in the playroom. I have a whole video where I painted kitchen cabinets because I actually made a mistake choosing the color when I hired a professional. So instead of, you know, taking the cost on of hiring a professional to redo my mistake color choice, I just decided to DIY that, have a whole video there. But I mean, really, we have honestly painted, we've painted um, paneling. So like dated 19, what was that, 70s? 60, 60s 70. Paneling, we've painted yeah. that, which saved us thousands of dollars. So. We've painted fireplaces. What have we not painted? I don't think we've not painted anything. But a lot of times I will tell you that I know that that sometimes sounds like a compromise. Like, well, why didn't you just rip the tile out or why didn't you? But 
sometimes we do wish we could have ripped it out and we couldn't afford it like the or we did we didn't want to make that investment we had other investments that we wanted to make but then something like the tile upstairs in your bathroom i like it so much that even if i could afford to tear it out i won't now because it is so quaint and sweet and i just i will retile the shower yeah because it has some really tacky um it's like a surround surround but i'm gonna leave the floor because yeah. i love it love it yeah so there's a lot of cool things you can paint i think paint is a great temporary fix so even if you're just unhappy with your home in general and you don't know where to start and you're like i i do want a full renovate i want to save for a renovation and i want to invest in my home i'm going to stay here a long time it's worth it but you don't have that money today but you do have the money for a can of paint just paint and you will be so inspired and like have a new vision and new excitement yeah. so i would say paint is a good band-aid too and it's what you're not going to be out a lot and anybody can diy paint sure i mean even yeah. you even i can do it the fourth way to save on your renovation is to use the existing layout so we did do that in both of our homes yes we did like you took out half walls and i took out pony walls i took out a half wall i took out the peninsula in the kitchen to open other spaces there were some things that we did do that was taking down solid structures but not full walls no full walls and that i mean i would honestly like if i stayed here and I did a full renovation, I may, might creatively think of how I could remove this wall in between my living and kitchen. But right now it's working great for us. It makes it functional and it would have cost double if not triple the cost too, right. because I would have replaced all the cabinets. I would have had to do the floors. I mean, there was so much, it was never gonna end. And I do believe that this wall load -bearing. is load bearing. And we have removed load bearing walls before. We've converted a garage. We we did that in my skyline house and it there was really we had to do that to make it was a two bedroom, one bath, and um it was really choppy. But we already knew we were ripping out the cabinets, we knew so th in that instance, modifying the layout was worth it. But uh I the, that that renovation was a little more costly, but we only paid one hundred and twenty-five thousand for, for the house. house. You got a great deal on the house. You were able to invest a little bit more in the renovation. Yeah. But in today's market, it's not. It's not always I, feasible. Yeah. So I think, I think people are. I am always shocked by how far I can get with just aesthetically modifying things versus changing a layout because right. i know a lot of times you just want to blow out a wall and you want to do like it, that comes really natural when you love when you okay. watch a lot of mm -hmm. hgtv honestly you just always want a demo day like it just like mm -hmm. always but that's just not always the best idea my primary bedroom the there's a lot of layout changes that i would love to make the bathroom is not big i could modify it by increasing the size and putting it into the room right behind it that would make sense but also moving plumbing very expensive so if you can keep everything if you don't have to change where the plumbing goes that's good it's good you're gonna save a lot of money but if you can get a house like a killer deal on a house then that might be the case that you would want to modify the floor plan yeah the fifth item is something that we have actually like this is kind of a new thing for us but using salvage and discount warehouses so yes i got all of my doors from <laughs> seconds and surplus or it, it wasn't seconds and surplus it was, it was a builder builder's warehouse yeah mm -hmm. and they were i mean a fraction of the cost of i mean i think they were like like under a hundred dollars or something crazy like about a hundred dollars yeah for each door and they're the like craftsman style shaker like they're solid doors yeah. nice doors um i did the floors were from the last inventory which is they buy bulk uh overruns and things yeah. from builders and then they have just a really nice selection of hard real hardwood flooring it's real hardwood yeah yeah and not engineered it's real we did have to hire someone to install them yeah but the cost savings was amazing yeah i was a, like i think it was less than half of the original quote for just hardwood and so 
things like that you can get things from even the goodwill restore they have like windows and doors and i have a friend who got her front door from there and it looks like it's that natural wood really pretty with the glass so you might have to dig and you might have to like pick up and do some things that maybe you're doing it's more, a little bit more labor intensive to get your supplies but it saves yeah. a ton yeah and also if you're online and you're looking for lighting you just compare you know google you can compare all the different big box stores and warehouses and find the best price and then offer you know the 10% to sign up with your email and get that off and get, yeah. you know just all the different Savvy. ways Savvy shopping, I would say, is one of our favorite things to do too. Yeah. So we have actually rounded up a ton of lights and a ton of things like that if you are look on the hunt and so you can compare like higher price versus lower price. And we call it the looks for less guide. So you can find that down below. But yes, you can definitely savvy shop and find things for I mean, the same exact look for a fraction of the cost. Sometimes we actually like the less expensive look Yeah. than the more expensive. Yeah. I mean, and now that I'm thinking about it, even like secondhand stuff, like my fireplace mantle was, I mean, so affordable. And flea that, market find. Flea market. My front door Facebook marketplace. The beams in my ceiling at the Skyline house and the beams in mom's ceiling at the um in her dining room those were free and those were from a barn they were tearing down so they were we use them everywhere we yeah. use them in the dog room for a little uh, built-in and we used them as the fireplace mantle and we just repurposed them everywhere we could find. yeah we were like free let's do it <laughs> so the installation because they were very heavy we had to get framers to do it but if we would have bought beams it would have been so expensive and so there i think just looking around and you'll see things listed on facebook marketplace and you'll see like a random friend will be like hey i have this does anybody like anybody want to come pick up this scrap wood you know it, but if you're not open to that you're not thinking about that as a, a measure to save then you might not think oh that's a pretty innovative innovative way to and maybe your husband's handy like my husband is into cars so he welds he's not really into houses so he doesn't help us diy very much but i no. had him weld a box for my firewood and we took and had it powder coated and painted so um just look around at your friends your family yeah and what can you get done for less recruit the army yes and that doesn't mean you're using people but i bet there's ways that you you're like oh so and so has this or so and so has this and I just, we've always like started conversations and, and we end up like my, the, the way we got the barn beams was people knew that we love to decorate. And this was before really, we even shared a ton on the internet. Mm -hmm. Like we didn't have a large following at that point. And, but people just knew we loved it. And so they're like, we're tearing down this barn and we feel bad about getting rid of these beams. So will you take them? And yeah. I would never say no. So that you know just start those conversations be open to you know creative ways to get supplies and creative ways to transform things whether it's paint and creative ways to reuse things whether it's your layout your cabinet boxes and your like stone brick whatever yeah you can reuse anything yeah so that's how mom and i have saved thousands we love to renovate and we love for it to look high-end really elevated really transformed but we don't love to to empty our checkbooks no we don't we don't love that we don't love that <laughs> so that's how we do it if you have any other ideas i would love to hear in the comments below like i said we are launching a course where we are designing spaces together if you want more information you will find that link in the description if you want more ways to kind of like refresh your mindset on design we talk about that last design chat and so i'll link this video below so it's it's really sharing not only budget but those other limiting factors that aren't allowing you to completely transform your home close yeah. that mom like subscribe share with your friends yeah. especially those who are looking to do any renovations yeah. and um 
and it's fun. We love it and we love sharing it with you. And so um, let us know how it's going. Yeah. Bye, Bye. guys.